Hey guys, welcome to Titan Medical Center. Come on with me, I'm gonna give you a first-hand experience and tour of our multi-million dollar state-of-the-art facility. Come on through the doors of Titan Medical Center. What's gonna happen is you're gonna walk through those doors into our beautiful Titan Lounge, which you're gonna come right up to the front desk and you're gonna meet our receptionist. They're gonna greet you with a big smile and welcome you to Titan Medical Center, ask you if you want a bottle of water, and find out what you're here for. Whether you're a new patient that maybe wants to learn about some of our services or what we can do for you, or you're an existing patient. Come in for maybe your follow-up visit, maybe some blood work, maybe an IV, or you just want to come by and say hi to the great Titan crew and staff here. So come on back, I'll show you what's behind these doors. So when you walk in here, you're going to be walked back to your room where you're going to see your medical provider. But first, after that, you're going to get to see our medical staff and kind of like the brain of operation in here. So you're getting to see a lot of our medical assistants in here and some of our staff that are contacting patients every day, making sure we're monitoring them and staying on top of their health. Because health is number one priority with us here at Titan Medical Center. We want our patients to feel better, look better, and perform their best every day. So that's what we're here to do for you guys. So we're here for support too as well. Have a problem, question, concern, we can answer that right on the spot. You can call, text, or email at any time, and you're going to get a response right away. So come on back, let's see what else we got you're gonna to get to see maybe our studio. So this is our production studio. Um, this is where we create all our transition videos, education videos, um, and we do our lives in. So when you see us on Facebook, Instagram, and all that, we're doing that all here. We're creating all our own content and all our own production. We are a full medical center. So that means we offer X-ray, EKG, and a lot of other services that maybe you didn't think we did. So this is just another aspect of Titan Medical Center. You can come in one of our patient rooms. This is where you'll be able to see your medical provider. They're gonna get your vitals, maybe your weight, um, and they'll go through all your consultation in here if you come in-house. We also have our little procedure room, which we'll be starting PRP, Smart Lipo, and a number of different other services for you guys. More consultation rooms. We have providers and other ones right now currently seeing patients. Another one of our medical assistants that are contacting patients. Another one of our nurse practitioners are in here. They're also seeing patients as we speak. We have our lab back there too as well. Oh, hi Nicole. It's our office manager, Nicole. Um, so we have more rooms. These are for telemedicine as far as that goes. We have our employee lounge. I wanna make sure our employees have a nice place to come, relax on their break, eat something. And then we go back into our medical spa. This is where more of the magic happens. So this is our medical spa. This is where all our, as far as Botox, Juvederm fillers, um, IVs all come. And in these rooms, you'll be able to lay back on a beautiful chair. Um, Netflix is on the TV, so you can watch Netflix and you can sit back and get your IV or they'll come in and do your Botox, Juvederm fillers or any other services you might offer on the side. But it's really nice because even if you're just getting an IV, the door closes, you can watch TV, you have your own privacy. You're not sitting next to somebody else that you don't know, um, not getting bothered. Um, at that point, you can be in your own little world and kind of zen out, all right? And we have four different rooms that we do this in. So at that point, we'll be able to service all your needs and more. All right, guys, so we're gonna go to the other part of Titan Medical Center that's not connected. It's our new little project we're working on. Um, so come on, let's go check it out. All right, so this is the new Olympus Lounge that we're putting together and it's coming together really quick, okay? Um, literally, we got this thing painted and then after that, I had this gym flooring put down, which is almost complete. I had mirrors put on the walls. We have these chairs assembled, we're waiting for our conference table, which is gonna be in here. Um, we're gonna be having our gym equipment that's gonna be here next week, just in this area. So it's not just gonna be, it's not like a gym, but it will have gym equipment in here. So when I wanna train, I wanna bring one of my VIPs in here, we can come get a pump out. Um, and at that point, maybe work in here too as well. We'll have our conference meeting table in here. So when we have guests or we have business meetings, we can have this done. Uh, and it's in a nice, beautiful area, right? Leather couches are gonna be over here. Uh, a little bar area, refrigerator, big screens are going to be on the walls, and a lot of beautiful art from a lot of local Tampa artists. It's going to be beautiful in here. I can't wait. I'm very excited when I start projects like this. 
especially because we're going to be able to use this thing, me and Sharice, for all different types of things and maybe even events too. So I can't wait for you guys and for me to see the final result. It's going to be awesome. Now that you've seen the inside of our beautiful Type Medical Center facility, let me talk about some of the services and therapies that can help you. We offer hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss therapies, injectable vitamin and amino acid therapies that are custom and signature just for our patients here at Titan. We also offer peptides, healing peptides, weight loss peptides, and also immune system boosting peptides. We also offer libido enhancers for both males and females so you can make your partner feel the very, very best they possibly can. We also offer blood work nationwide. So wherever you're at in the country, we can run hormones, STD testing, amino acid testing, COVID antibody testing, and a lot, lot more. We can also offer you IVs. If you're in the area of Tampa, come on down to Type Medical Center. We can customize an IV specifically for what you're trying to achieve or for what's going wrong. From immune system boosting, to energy, to weight loss, to detox, and a lot, lot more. So if you guys want to become part of the Type Medical Center family, call our Texas today. 727-389-3220 and tell them John sent you. What's up guys, this is Big Drew with Titan Medical. Just want to give you guys a little insight as to why I got with Titan Medical and how they've helped me. Well first off, I've been with Titan Medical for about two years now. If you guys, anybody knows me before Titan Medical, they know me as being Mr. McDonald's. I used to walk into the gym eating McDonald's. I still had abs and everything, but uh, one of the main things that brought me to Titan Medical was when I got my blood work done. Now you guys know, outside appearance is very important very important to me as opposed to anybody who goes to the gym but that outside appearance wasn't being affected by the McDonald's once I got my blood work done at Titan that's when I knew the McDonald's was hurting me rather than helping me so even though the outside looked great the inside has to look great too again once I got my blood work done I got some HRT my testosterone levels were low they were only 400 I thought it was high I thought 400 was four times what it should be it was supposed to be 800, I'm at 800 now, and I feel great, thanks to Titan. My therapies, gotta go with the Hercules Potion. Gives you a great pump, keeps me in the gym for hours and hours. And one thing people don't realize about Hercules Potion too, it works like a Viagra or a Cialis, so you can kill two birds with one stone. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. Next thing, ECA Stack Plus. Ephedra, caffeine, and aspirin. We also put that B12 and that chromium aspect in it too. It's gonna give you even more energy. And also B12 helps with sleep at night as well. So that's what I take before I train with my Hercules Potion. And the last but not least, my ultimate favorite, the Mass Builder, the one that makes me eat like a horse, MK677. Guys, MK677 is an oral peptide. It works kind of like an oral growth hormone. It's gonna make you eat like crazy, recover like crazy, and grow like crazy, and sleep like a baby. Those are my three favorite Titan therapies here at Titan Medical Center. Again, no more McDonald's for me. Everything is healthy from now on out, and it came from the blood test. Get your blood test, guys, at Titan Medical Center. Know what's going on inside your body. Don't just Google search. Don't rely on Dr. Google. Come to Titan, we'll get you right. This is Big Drew, Titan Medical Center. I'm out. Here at Titan Medical Center, we offer a variety of different lab testing for you at the convenience of your time and in your area, nationwide. Or you can come into our beautiful facility here in Channelside, Tampa. Our blood testing goes extensive. We just don't cover our basics, liver and kidneys. No, we can cover hormones, we can cover all your vital organs, vitamin levels, amino acid levels, STD testing, COVID antibody testing, food allergy sensitivity testing. We can do all this through blood. 
and you don't even have to come into our beautiful location. We can send you to the nearest lab in your location. It's a real simple and easy process. All you gotta do is call or text us at 727-389-3220. Tell them you want blood testing. If you wanna know more information about these different blood tests that we offer, just call or text us. We'd be happy to go over it with you. If there's something specific that you want a blood test for, please call us or text us. We'll be happy to go over that with you. So, I'm John from Titan, and I encourage you to be healthy Look your best, feel your best, and perform your best. And the only way to do that is to look inside and know what's going on. Call our Texas today. Thanks, guys. What's up guys, John here. I'm with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hello. And uh, we are here at the WCFL Fight Night, 30th presentation of these fights. Put on by Ralph L. Garcia here at the JCC, right in the heart and soul of South Tampa. And these fights are always exciting, always exhilarating. Uh, you know, you got guys fighting, you got girls fighting, and honestly, I like those fights the best. Me personally, I just like fighting just all together. <laughs> So, you know, these type of events really, really thrill me because I enjoy it every minute of it. It really is great. Yeah, it's awesome, right? It takes us back to the roots of how we were a long, long time when I ago. Was 14. <laughs> <laughs> so, come with us, see the behind the scenes, come see some of these fights, and just enjoy what you guys are about to see. If you guys have not been here yet, maybe next time you guys can join us here at the WSFL fights here in Tampa, Florida at the JCC. See you then. Celebrate, we're here at the fights. It's getting down, so you know what? We gotta pop a bottle of champagne and celebrate. Opa, that's how we do it. Know that the ride or die. I keep blame on my seat. Know that the ride or die. I keep blame on my seat. Know that the ride or die. Super awesome. The environment here is super positive. Yes, Titan Medical Center in the house. So we're just finishing up WCFL. It was an amazing, crazy night. Crazy. Fights were off the chain. There were some 
some really, really good ones. Some were fast, some were a lot longer. But you know what? I think everybody had a great time. Tonight. It was only one girl fight, though, man. Come on. We yeah. got to have more than one. We like to see those girls fight because, man, you know what? They got some heart when they get in that ring. So uh, the guys. maybe next time, maybe next time. So if you didn't get to come tonight, make sure you go to the next WCFL event. It's going to be Titan sponsored. Like always, big shout out to Ralph Fair Garcia and everybody that helped put on this amazing event. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So if you guys haven't tuned into Cupid's Corner, what we like to do is, is we want to give great tips, tricks, or a little bit of our inside information to help you guys better your relationship or maybe reignite that flame that maybe been, you know, got smothered out a little bit. So you want to make sure that thing is burning strong, especially in a relationship if you want a long-lasting, successful relationship, right? So there's a lot of different things that go into this. It's a job, don't ever forget that. You have to work daily on your relationship to make sure it's successful. Not a chore, right? A job. It's not a chore for sure. Not a chore. And you know, and even if you're married, you know, it's still dating. So don't ever treat it like, you know, it's just a routine. I get up every morning, I drink my coffee, I go to work, I come home, hey honey, where's my dinner at? Eat my dinner, I go to sleep. Uh, that would be terrible. <laughs> right? So. <laughs> There's some different tips and tricks that we want to bring at you. So every week, we cover some new ones. This week, in particular, we're going to cover two main ones. The first topic is sharing highs and lows daily with your partner. Mm -hmm. You know, so at this point, when you come home from your day at work or whatever is going on, or maybe you, you know, because of COVID, you're sitting at home and you've worked all day there, you might have some highs and some lows, some good things that happen, some bad things that happen. And the best thing to do is maybe at dinner time, sit down with your partner or even your family. Mm -hmm. You can get your kids involved in this one too. Yeah, no, actually my dad this used to great. force us to do that. So he would sit us down at the table and this was every single time we had dinner at night. And it was me, my brother, my dad, and my mom. And my yeah. dad worked three jobs, so yeah. I mean, he was barely ever home. So when we did have this dinner, it was no joke. Yeah. So we'd sit there and be like, okay, so what was the best part of your day today? And I'm like, okay, well, this is what it was. Okay, what was the worst part of your day today? Mm -hmm. We'd go around the table and everybody would say it. And, you know, sometimes you might be like, wow, that really happened today? You know, and then it starts up a conversation that you, I mean, you may not have known unless you asked or right. unless you shared what was going on. Cause you know, I mean, even think about, I'm sure back when I was working for someone else, um, you know, I'd come home, throw my, my stuff down. I'd be in a bad mood. I'm sure he would understand, you know, like uh, she's in a bad mood, but he would have no idea what happened, you know? So you know, I kind of give him some little bits of the story of like what took place and why I'm upset. And then, you know, he's a little bit more understanding. So it could be one of those situations or you can share something that happened that was really cool, you know? With, with doing this, it helps in a lot of different ways. One, it helps with bonding with your partner, right? You feel closer because you know you know what went, they went through in that day, good and bad. Mm -hmm. Two, it can help your partner. And let me tell you why. It can also help you in de-stressing because you have all those bottled up maybe emotions of something that happened bad or great emotions that, that, that were built up and maybe they forgot to share with you. And you know, sharing those bad emotions sometimes and getting them off your chest and onto the table will help alleviate that stress and, and really help you all around, mm -hmm. health-wise too, because you don't want to be stressed. That brings up cortisol, which can make you fat. You don't want that, mm -hmm. okay? So, you know, <laughs> right? I, 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 I'll be honest, yeah. you don't want that, okay? Yeah. So you want to be as, you know, you know you're always going to have some stress. There's good stress and bad stress, and you're going to have both. But you want to make sure you know how to balance that stress. And being able to communicate with your partner or even with your family at that point, like you said, because you can do this with your kids too and ask them, hey, how was your day? You know, what, what, what good happened? What bad happened? And you really get the full picture that way. And 
you stay in tune. It's 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 a better version of Facebook because it's real. Oh my it's God. personal. You're there. You're getting to talk. You're getting to bond. This is real, really real social communication right. and that's how it should be especially with your family with your loved ones okay so this is really important so make sure that you're sharing the highs and the lows each day and you might be really upset when you come home and your partner has no idea and you're getting the flack if you're the partner you're like oh my god what happened today at work Jeez, right please. please please tell me so you know that could be one thing or they come home smile like, oh, okay so what happened today right yeah. and they could share a lot of good things with you you know even if you're sitting at home you know, you're not always uh, interacting with your partner per se, right? So, you know, it's good just to do an overview of the day. Highs, yeah, I mean, listen, lows. we work together every day. We're here at the office every day. That doesn't mean that he knows exactly what my highs oh, and my no. lows are because oh, no. we're here physically together every day, but not like really together every day. He doesn't see every little beat of the day. So, of course, you know, when I go home, I'm sure I just spill his little ears out, you know, but... It's a good thing, though, because it helps you, too. I mean, you're being able to de-stress by talking yeah, yeah, about it. Yeah. You know, don't you want to vent about it, get it off your chest, and, you know, just feel better about getting it off your chest? And on the flip side of this, guys, do me a favor. Do not judge them or yeah. say anything yeah. about it or even start up any sort of conversation that's, that's going to, you know, start up another, like, you know, maybe Problem. well maybe you should have looked at it like this. Because... That can turn to a whole other situation. Just listen. And after you listen, then just give them a hug. That's it. Just a hug. A hug and a kiss. I love you. It'll be fine. Tomorrow will be a better day. Tomorrow's a new day. It'll be a better day. Now, on the flip side of that, they could say, you know, I don't know what to do. And you yeah. could give them some, some good pointers. Like, For hey, sure. maybe, maybe you do this. Maybe do that. And then might give them a new outlook on things. So they can go in and do that. And it could change the game. Mm -hmm. You never know because people think and look at things different ways, even your partner. I mean, you know, I think, you know, me and Sharice, I think we're, uh, we're a rarity because we look at a lot of things very similar. Yeah. I think we, we came into our relationship looking at things similar and that's why we had such a tight bond and so quick yeah. because we had a lot of similarities, you know, good, good and bad, I guess, you know, <laughs> so at that point. Um, we understood each other a lot. So, you know, some people don't have that and they're learning or they're complete opposites, mm -hmm. right? And those complete opposites sometimes attract, right? That's what they say, opposites attract. And at that point, you know, you can definitely look at something totally different than they look at something. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can share that, but let them ask you. Don't say, yeah. oh, you should have did this or you should have did that. Because it could turn into something that it's, it wasn't meant to be. And they'll, they won't want to share that information right. with you. Then they think they're getting judged or they're getting a lecture and a stuff lecture. like that. A lecture, yeah. that's don't a, want yeah. that, right? Nobody wants a lecture you after know, work. It's tough, too. Even when you do with your kids, you know, you, you want to tell them the right way, but you don't want to come out as a lecture because, uh, whatever, dad, or whatever. Right. No, 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 listen to me. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. But, so that's just one thing, right? That's a great tip and trick, you know, and this will help you guys all the way around. It's a big one. Relationship-wise, if you have a family, family-wise, um, it's gonna help in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. So share your highs and lows, good and bad every day, okay? <laughs> so the next one, and this one's really cool too, because this is an everyday thing. So you, you know, I'm trying to set you guys up, or we are with good routines every day that, that should hopefully set you guys up for success. Small Even, building blocks of daily to build into the yes. bigger picture. Yes, so find something every day that you appreciate about your partner. Now, this can work in a couple different ways, right? So find something every day that you appreciate about them. Now, you can tell them because, listen, what partner doesn't want to get the compliment about something that you like about them? I mean, that's a confidence thing. That means that you, they think, or they know that you're thinking about them, right? And you think this about them. That's great because some people go in relationships and, you know, the wife or the husband, like, oh, man, I don't know if my wife still even likes me anymore. I don't know what's going on, you know? I never get a compliment. They don't look at me. You know, I just, it's just, an, it's another day, right? And that could, that could definitely push you guys away from each other or one party away from, and that could go and, and, and you grow in separate other, directions. Yeah. And you don't want that, right? So when you think about these different things, you can tell them or you can keep it to yourself. And this is good too, because if you keep it to yourself, you might think you might, oh my God, you know, I love, I love Sharice, you know, she does this for me every day or, you know, I love this about her. I get to see this and it just brings a smile to your face and you don't got to tell them, but inside, you know, mm -hmm. right? And this will help you guys too. This will help in the relationship because even if they get on your nerves or they're getting on your nerves, mm -hmm. you go back to the good things, yes. right? Don't always look at the bad things. Even if you're in a, a bad situation, something happened wrong, okay? Whatever it is, you know, then you just focus on the negativity. 
and it's always negative. Like, ah, oh, and then you start thinking all these negative things. You don't ever think about the positive things. And it's not, what have you done for me lately type oh, deal. Boy. You don't want that. <laughs> it's an overall picture, right? right? Because let's say you're in a relationship for 12 years and you look at the past two months. Well, that's a small fraction of what you guys have been together in a long period of time. So when it comes down to things like that, you really want to look at the big picture, okay? And doing these things like remembering the good things and the things that you appreciate by your partner will do that and hopefully bring you back to a better state of mind and maybe more calm. And if you are having problems or issues, you can talk about it, communicate about things, and you'll be in a better mind state. Right? Well, communication's key. I was going to bring up just something just off the top of my head. I mean, I appreciate John waking up at six o'clock every morning and taking Peter to school. He makes some breakfast and everything. Cause Steve is listen, close. listen, let's, 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 I'm going to put it out there. I am not by any means, never have, never will be. And currently am not a morning person. Okay. My morning starts at 12. So you can talk to me and call me and text me after 12 o'clock. Anytime before that, I'm still sleeping. Not literally, but I am still sleeping. Um, but he does get up. You know, I stay, I, we, we, sw we swap off. So, you know, I might stay up a little bit later to work or do emails and things like that. Um, and then he kindly gets up at six o'clock and he does take care of Peter. I mean, that's a big job, you know, getting him off to school and taking care of the breakfast, making sure he looks good, make sure he puts on deodorant. Oh my goodness, this Definitely. child will Definitely. smell terrible if he doesn't have deodorant, yeah. sorry. But, you know, it's it's a little things that count and that's a, not really a little thing to me, it's actually a really big thing. I mean, I even thought about it specifically even this morning and the morning before that and the morning before that. So yeah, every morning I think about it, but it's appreciated. I may not tell him all the time, but I do appreciate it. And I, it doesn't go unnoticed or, you know, I, I, I do notice it every single day. You know, it's just little things like that. It could be the littlest thing. The littlest things, because a lot of those little things equal big things, mm -hmm. right? And that's what it's always about. A lot of pennies, equal a dollar, right? 100 pennies equal a dollar. So at that point, you start adding up those little things, they really add up to big things. So those little things count. Small, big, make sure that you're appreciating these things about your partner or something they're doing for you. You never know what it could be, you know? And I have friends out there, I hear these stories all the time, oh, you know? Boy. I have one of my good friends and he just talked to me the other day. He's no, like, you know, he's like, that. you know, this woman he's been dating, you know, with, you know, he takes care of the kid that's not his child. That's great, you know? He doesn't have to do that. Tourism does this, spends all kinds of money. You know, and that's a great thing. And, and the girl tells him, well, you know, you don't appreciate me. And he's like, well, what do you mean? And he doesn't want to throw in her face all the things that he does. But at that point, like he wants to be appreciated too. Like, are you, you know, are you taking into consideration these different things that I'm doing that I don't have to do? Well, you know, honestly, and we'll make this um, on the next episode, take note of this, you know, don't always have like expect what, they don't have to do right. that you're going to just expect that they do it because they do it all the time right you know don't do that because when you start setting that bar where it, they're doing something that they don't necessarily have to do and then you just don't take it for granted gra you take it for granted no. i mean that's kind of what i'm saying with about is. that you're taking it for granted you're not appreciative of that's what right. they're doing not grateful that makes things a little sticky yep. and they will feel that yep. and they'll know yep. and it eventually it might not happen in a day or two days or a week or a month or a year but it does build up over time absolutely and it eventually does turn into animosity i mean that's the truth it's going to turn into that so we'll talk about that more in the next episode of cupid's corner Tune in then next sunday <laughs> 11 a.m you can see our beautiful faces john and sharice and we are happy to give you guys these tips, tricks, and some of these different things that help us in our relationship or that we've seen help in other relationships out there. So we wanna thank you guys for all the support. It's been a great 2021 so, so far. We appreciate you guys and we'll see you next Sunday, 11 a.m. for another Cupid's Corner with me, John. I'm Sharice. And my beautiful wife, Sharice. Uh -huh. I thank you guys. Bye.